Welcome. We are joined by Yigal Dilmoni, former head of the Yesha Council of Judea and Samaria, and today the head of American Americans for Judea and Samaria. Welcome. Hi. I am not very good evening here in Judea and Samaria, uh, but good evening for you, Rabbi Elhanan Poko. I mean, it's not a good evening. You know, when two Jews are killed, it's not a good evening for anyone. What... Uh... First of all, what happened today? Who was killed? How? And also, can we hear from you a bit about why so many clashes, specifically in this town, which uh, I didn't hear much about before, but uh, keeps up coming in the news, uh, Hawara. What's going? What, what's the story there? So, Hawara, it's a village on the middle of very highway imported road in Judea and Samaria, road 60. It's the what we call the road, the Derech Avot, the road of Avram Avinu. When, when Avram Avinu walked from uh, Hebron to Shechem, or when Yosef go walk from uh, Hebron to Shechem, this is the exactly way that he uh, passed on. And Chawara in the Tanakh, it's Horon. It's the area of Horon. So we hear about Hawara and we think, wow, it's an Arab village. No, it's a very, very ancient Jewish, uh, by biblical uh, place that now Arab sit and their big village, big town of Arab called Hawara. And Road 16, it passed over exactly in the middle of that village. We driving at this road every day. I own. I think almost through every the village day I you drive... drive through the middle of the village. Yeah, or... yeah, this is the main road from Tapuach, Tome Tapuach, from Tapuach Junction to if you want to go to Elon More, to Itzar, to uh, Al Bracha, to Itamar, and even to see to to the municipality of Kdumim, you have to pass uh, on on that road that it's. It's in the middle of 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 Choron, of what we call now Hawara. So every day, mother, sons, children, young children, my children, a, a lot of people, a lot of Jewish, driving at this road. It's mm. our main road from what we call the Gavahar, the ancient uh, place of of Shem, to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And what's happened today? Uh, because of that a lot of traffic at this road, uh, the traffic was stopped. So and just, people... well, if I can just pause for a second to understand. So it's a, a road in a uh, Arab Palestinian village. And what happens is uh, there's Jews and Palestinians going through the middle of the village. This isn't the only place in uh, Judea and Samaria where this happens. I assume there are other places where... Uh, yeah. where is... There are other places where Jews drive. Yeah, through. there are a lot of places. That a lot of places that after Oslo Accord, we driving. It's on, mixed on the road. On the road that pass mm -hmm. over inside village, and and the, the the IDF is inside and keep our people driving, and most of the time everything is okay. So, but what I, I know that today, you uh, you you did a lot of work in. Um... It, it just making sure in terms of public safety on the roads, making sure that Jews and Palestinians uh, can live side by side without events like we see tonight, terrible events uh, where Halel and Halel and Yigal and Yagel Yaniv got Yagel. killed. Why specifically in Hawara? So I'm assuming there's a bunch of other towns you can name where Jews and Palestinian Arabs drive through the same areas. Why does this place keep on coming up in the news? I remember there was a story three, four years ago in the New York Times where someone had to go out with his gun and defend himself. Why does it keep coming up in the news? Because it's not far from Shechem, from Nablus, and the uh, very the head, some of the headquarters of the terrorists is inside Shechem. We remember just before week, the IDF and the, the Shabak. The intelligence forces, uh, very unique forces, get inside Shechem and kill uh, 11 uh, terrorists that uh, getting together and try to get out a, a terror attack against Israel. So it's not far from the the, the big cities. The den of the Shem lions. That's inside. Gova Arayot. Yeah, it's the... yeah. Yeah, Gova Arayot. They are Gov of the monkeys. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, this is how we have to call them. They're, 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 
The, no, the there's a hard bed for like terrorism, monkeys. no question. Yeah, but they high all the day. They in in the in, in they get inside cave and they run all the day before because the 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 Shabak is uh, is run after them. But what happened today? Mm-hmm. What happened today is that they the Yegel and Alel Yaniv, and I have to tell something about their families. Their uh, drive. To the yeshiva, the learning in the yeshiva. In two, one one of them le- le- learn in the yeshiva there of Kirat Shmona, and one of them learn on the yeshiva there in Chadera, mm-hmm. and in Givat Olga. It's, and they drive together to to the yeshiva to learn Torah, to learn Gemara in the yeshiva. And there was a, a lot of tra- traffic inside the, the, this road, and they stop in the they stuck in the traffic, and suddenly a terrorist. Uh, uh, get out and shot the, shot them with gun in, inside the car because the car was standing in the lot of wow. other car. This is the, the, the what's happened, and I want to say something about about this. I don't know this kedushim, this amazing guy that learned Mara. Her grandfather, mm-hmm. his name is Rabbi Shabtai Nambu. Mm-hmm. Was my rabbi wow. in the yeshiva in the Vet Kalim in Gush Katif mm-hmm. when I was when I learned there. Her grandfather, Rabbi Shabtai Namburg, she badele chaim arukim. Mm-hmm. He, wow. he he was my rabbi, and there another grandfather, Rabbi Shmuel Yaniv, is very mm-hmm. very famous rabbi here in Israel from Givat Shmuel. He, he 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 searched and he, and he wrote a book a book about the, the the Tanakh and and how we can read the the Tanakh and the world inside the Tanakh. So this family is this two young Talmidei Shiva that came from family of rabbis of rabbanim. They all their life they want to learn Torah and they drive mm-hmm. today to learn Torah and to learn Gemara yeah. and this. Now even terrorists t- came and killed this lovely two, two, two young children. And it's very, very terrible day today in the Shomron area. I'm living not far from uh, from uh, from Al-Bracha. I'm sitting now in my home in Avne Hefet in the Shomron area. It's something like 20 minutes from uh, from the place that wow. the terror uh, that was this terror attack. And and our young children today in the yeshuv in my yeshuv they get out to the to the main road not far from Avnei Chafetz to pray my live uh, on the road with Degel Israel mm-hmm. with the flag of Israel to see all the people we are here we will not go we will not move from here even you will attack us we will not move it this is our land and we will be mm-hmm. here forever. And this is terrible. And the uh, the family you said lives in Harbracha. Where did their parents live? Yeah, live in Harbracha. Her, her, her father was a rabbi in in the, in the Talmud Torah in 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 mm-hmm. Gdumim. Wow, so terrible losing two children like this. Really, really horrible. Uh, I see now that they have they have uh, there's uh, riots, there are fires, a lot of uh, big uh, mess. What do you think is going to happen? I know that in the early 2000s, when there were situations like this, Israel made a road around. Uh, do you think there's going to be a situation where Israel says we're going to make a road around Hawara so that we yeah. stop seeing this kind of stuff? Or less of it, at least? Yes. It's it's, imp- it's a very good question because at the last five years at Yesha Council, we work about uh, what we call master plan of transportation Mm-hmm. That they already the, the the government give money and we start to build a road a new road that going from Tomet Tapuach to mm-hmm. the area of Al Bracha and Itzar and it's passed over outside of Hawara but mm-hmm. it's not this road it's not against the terror this road it's against the traffic because we stuck in the traffic. Mm-hmm. And yeah. also the Arabs that drive at this road stuck in the traffic, and there are a lot of car car accidents. So right. we try to we do it because it's a death, it's, to be honest, it's a, traffic. It's a death trap. 
Yeah. If you want to fight and you want to 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 uh, you know to crash the terror and and and, and stop the terror, it's not by road but to pass over to get outside. If you want, and we see it at Homat Magen on the war of Homat Magen before mm-hmm. 20 years. If we want to fight the terror, we have to get inside their village, inside their city, to get mm-hmm. inside their headquarter and to get inside their home, take them from his home and kill them on, on their bed. This is the exactly way to fight against terror, not to run away to pass another road. Well, y- yes inside. and no. You did have situations where Israel did have a, 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 a you know road going around and that uh, definitely... Uh, avoided a lot of the trouble. I know my my friend's son a few years ago was the one who took his his gun out because he was being surrounded in the same place, same situation. You have traffic and it's a death trap and you know you have Palestinian nationalists and terrorists all around you and uh, it, it, it's it's a trap. Look, there's no question that sometimes just uh, avoiding it it could be the the path. but uh, you know, I see the riots, the fires tonight. It doesn't look like it's calming down. I want to say something about that. I want to say something about that. It's not our way. It's not the Torah way. If someone have to make nekama, how we say nekama? Revenge. It's only revenge. It's only the army. It's only the government. It's not in our hand. So I called the people, our people, that God get inside Hawara and attacked ancient or attacked Arabs. Stop it! It's not the way of the Torah. It's mm-hmm. not our way. We have state here. We have government. We have army. We have very good soldier. We have magnificent. Uh, uh, Shabak and intelligence mm-hmm. that get inside the, the terrorist home. It's not in our hand to make revenge. It's in the army hand. Mm-hmm. If you want to do it, you have to go to the army and fight against the terror with the army. Not but by yourself. It's not our way. Mm-hmm. In the, uh, if you are c- citizens like me, what you have to do is to cry, to help the families, and to build, and mm-hmm. to make it yeshvut, and to go right. out of them, the shuvim and build more cities, more communities, more agriculture mm-hmm. farm, keep the land. No. Don't fight. Don't try to kill. I yeah, hope no, it's not, not go for civilians. that to kill other people. Yes. All right. Uh, finally, one more question. I know that uh, now you're the head of uh, uh, the Judea and Samaria. Um, uh, again, what's the name? American Friends Americans of Judea and Samaria. American Friends of Judea and Samaria. I know that this is how we got to know each other. You do a lot of work connecting communities in Judea and Samaria with communities around the world. Uh, the You just celebrated a half a million Jews living in Judea and Samaria. What's being done to connect uh, Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria and communities in the diaspora. I know sometimes uh, in some places it's like you speak about Jews in Judea and Samaria. It sounds like, uh, you know, there's five hillbillies in one place, but it's actually a half a million people, cities, communities, etc. So uh, what do you do to make those connections? First, at the last Rosh Hashanah, we pass over the half, half million Jewish living in Judea and Samaria. It's it, it is something, it's a historical day. Mm-hmm. Um, we return to the time of the Second Temple that a lot wow. of Jewish, most of the Jewish mm-hmm. living in Judea and Samaria. So slowly, slowly, we build this area. Uh, together with my friends from Brooklyn and Atlanta and Boston and other, fl- and other places, we start, uh, and, and it will run at, at the next two months, something like this. Mm-hmm. We start a new organization called American Friends of Judea and Samaria. This, that organization try to raise membership, not raise mm-hmm. money. We try to raise member. We want to connect people. We want we mm-hmm. want all the people that believe that Judea and Samaria is part of Israel, is mm-hmm. part of the 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 the, the 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 past of the Israel and then and the future of Israel. 
mm-hmm. to come and be connect together and ma- we want to make education and uh, and conference and delegation here to Israel and delegation mm-hmm. from Israel to stay to explain about the story of the Jewish nation mm-hmm. because we truly believe that if the people will know what's happening here mm-hmm. and if people will know how we connect how the Jewish people connect to this land like I told you mm-hmm. road 60 and Hawara it's Horon it's the Del Havot it's yeah. where the Avram Avinu walk and mm-hmm. if people will feel it like I feel it and people all over the world will feel it and educate their children that this is our homeland I think most of the problem will be minor it will be smaller and wow. we can solve the, all the problems so what we're doing now is to collect together the leaders and even some regular people that want to be uh, uh, want to be uh, together uh, in our belief and to help with education mm-hmm. with uh, with to you know to help the new Jewish agriculture farm in Judea and Samaria and to help us to you know to build a strategic plan to to develop this area mm-hmm. for the future uh, to you know you can search it in Google and write American friend of Judea and Samaria or uh, Mm-hmm. AFJS and you can find their website and read inside mm-hmm. all the details and you can push you can push the button become a member and you can join wow. us to be a member in American's friend of uh, Judea and Samaria and slowly slowly we will start to make all our plan together with you what we want to do it's big 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 group of allies for the mm-hmm. for the Jewish at Judea and Samaria and to help Israel uh, to educate people that this this land belongs to us. This is the truly the truly uh, story of that area of our area. All right, Egal Dilmoni, American friends of Judea and Samaria, as they say in Yiddish, uh, we should speak on happier occasions. Uh, tragic night in Israel in Hawara, but uh, also you know a lot of uh, possibilities in the future for building stronger connections with the diaspora. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.